we present Ha Ha, a novel approach for animatable human avatar generation from monocular input videos. The proposed method relies on learning the trade-off between the use of Gaussian splatting and a textured mesh for efficient and high-fidelity rendering. Our main idea is to learn to use the appropriate number of Gaussians relying on a textured mesh where possible. We demonstrate its efficiency to animate and render full-body human avatars, controlled via the SMPLX parametric model. Our model learns to apply Gaussian splatting only in areas of the SMPLX mesh where it is necessary, like hair and out-of-mesh clothing. This results in a minimal number of Gaussians being used to represent the full avatar. To train HaHa, we use monocular input video frames with the provided SMPLX fits. Our pipeline comprises three stages. In the first stage, we learn a full Gaussian representation of the avatar. For each mesh's polygon, we calculate the coordinates of its center, the quaternion rotation, and the scale. Then we calculate the parameters of the Gaussians attached to each SMPLX's polygon as offsets to the polygon transformations and rasterize these Gaussians. We use a differentiable mesh rasterizer to calculate the SMPLX depth map, D. We use this depth map as additional input to our modified 3D Gaussian splatting rasterizer to avoid rendering Gaussians overlapped with the mesh. As a result, we get Gaussian avatar G and Gaussian transparency map A. In the second stage, we render an avatar as a rasterized SMPLX mesh with a texture. We optimize RGB texture using the differentiable mesh rasterizer. We merge the differentiable rendering of the textured mesh and the differentiable 3D Gaussian splatting results to get a final avatar. Then we learn which Gaussians to remove in an unsupervised manner. We optimize Gaussians' opacity and delete all Gaussians with opacity lower than a threshold. Textured mesh can replace close-to-surface Gaussians on the avatar, such as in hands and face areas. To optimize an avatar, we use several image space losses, L2 loss, perceptual loss, structure similarity loss, and Sobel loss to get sharper edges. We use two regularizations to encourage optimization to find a trade-off between Gaussian's amount and image quality. One reduces the transparency of Gaussians to remove as much of them as possible, while the second preserves Gaussians with a segmentation dice loss. Using both of them allows us to remove only unnecessary Gaussians. As a result, we reduce the number of Gaussians up to three times for the whole avatar, resulting in more than two times reduced storage costs. In our experiments, we compared HaHa -ha to the state-of-the-art Gaussian methods, namely GART, 3DGS Avatar, and Gaussian Avatar. We demonstrate metrics on par with state-of-the-art approaches for the Snapshot People dataset while using almost two times fewer Gaussians. HaHa -ha demonstrates qualitative improvement compared to the state-of-the-art for novel poses and viewpoints while using fewer Gaussians. The use of textured mesh prior not only allows us to reduce the number of Gaussians, but also reduces artifacts, especially in areas not sufficiently represented in the training frames, such as armpits. To demonstrate the efficiency of HaHa -ha in more challenging scenarios, we measured metrics for RGB video sequences from the X-Humans dataset. HaHa -ha allows us to animate hands while we use much fewer Gaussians, and it is more robust to the input data while producing fewer artifacts. While Gaussian Avatar also benefits from using SMPLX to animate hands, HaHa -ha produces more realistic-looking results. We conducted an ablation study demonstrating the importance of proposed regularizations. The removal of segmentation regularization results in deleting too many Gaussians causing severe artifacts, while removal of opacity regularization results in keeping unnecessary Gaussians. We conclude that one should use both these regularizations simultaneously to get the best result.